Hi, this is a video review on Ubuntu 10.04 is being released today as a release candidate. So if we take you through Ubuntu and show you Ubuntu and show you what it looks like and what changes Linux have made. So the logon page has changed significantly. We've got the Canocal, if that's correct. The Ubuntu logo there and we've got a purpley pink background instead of the black background. So if I click my name, it's David, entering my password. So we log on. Um, this is the follow on from Ubuntu 9.10, which was, it's a great free source operating system. It comes with lots of free software, like GIMP image editor, video editing tools, office.org, um, all sorts of stuff like that. It's ideal for servers, if you're thinking of making a home server. Linux Ubuntu is the perfect operating system for it. If you're more experienced with, um, the, there's the logon here. If you're more experienced, if you're more, ex and again, if you're more experienced at using the bash interface, you can go with Ubuntu server, which you can download from the Ubuntu site, which I will include in the description below so as we can see it's just about loading I apologize for the speed because it's in a virtual machine I will be putting it on one of my systems for test purposes very shortly so stay tuned for that and there'll be more tutorials to come so if we start off the first thing I noticed I have already logged into this because I've changed the background picture as you can see to it's quite groovy I think and I like it. They have changed a lot of the desktop wallpapers and they're very similar to Windows. Instead of the two desktops you now get four desktops which I will show you in a minute when it decides to load. Here we go. So as I said you can now get four desktops, virtual desktops, instead of the standard two, which come with Ubuntu 9 series. The turn off command is now much better there. We now have a chat, so you can press available, away, busy. It's a lot more easy. Um, 30 minutes past five, that is synced with my time, Thursday 29th of April, which is the release date of the RC today, so go and download it, link is in the description. Mail, sound, and internet, wired ethernet connection. Down in the left corner, we've got show desktop. Up here, we've got Firefox shortcut, a help with Ubuntu, shortcut so if we start with the applications so if we click applications accessories we get the calculator which come with ubuntu 9 cd dvd creator character map disk usage analyzer get it text editor manage print jobs password and encryption keys which used to be in system and then you go into administration which used to be there search files as far as I'm concerned that's a new feature to Ubuntu 10.0.4 if that's correct the terminal and notes I apologize for the screen recorder again so if we go into games in Ubuntu 9 we did get a lot more games but we still get Sudoku, Mines, G-Brainy, all the ones which are most played. You can download lots of great games for Linux from the web, so just Google Linux Ubuntu games. In graphics, we now have F-Spot Photo Manager, which I'm sure we got that in Ubuntu 9. O Open Office Drawing, that's part of the OpenOffice.org office package simple scan the only thing that's missing from the graphics section is GIMP editor which was very useful it was more of a complex editor but I'm sure they've put on a 
alternative, more simple, but you can download that as I say from Google. A Empathy IM client that was included with Ubuntu 9 as the Firefox web browser. You can now download Google Chrome for Linux Ubuntu, which is very good. G Wibber Social Client, I haven't heard of that. Update your micro blog and follow contacts very useful. Remove Remote desktop viewer, so if you've got a server you can view it without a mouse, keyboard and screen. Monitor. Terminal server client, connect to a remote computer. And transmission BitTorrent client, which is the alternative to Windows uTorrent for downloading torrent files. Office, you get a dictionary, evolution mail and calendar. OpenOffice.org presentation, spreadsheet and word processor which automatically come with the OpenOffice.org office suite. So we get a disk burner which come with Ubuntu 9, a movie player which come with Ubuntu 9, Ubuntu, Pitavi video editor which is all new to Ubuntu 10.04, Rhythmbox music player that was in Ubuntu 9 and a sound recorder. There's Ubuntu Software Center. So if we go into places, you get what you got in Ubuntu 9 desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, and computer. As far as I'm concerned, there is no floppy drive. In system, if we go into preferences, we get all the controls for the, your system, like monitor, mouse controls. A lot like the Windows control panel. So as I say, this is from a Windows user point of view. Administration, which is very useful tools here. I think they come in very handy. Change the login screen behavior, hardware, language support, sympathetic package manager to install, remove and upgrade software packages. So if we want to change so if we want to change the desktop background, right click and select change desktop background. There is a lot of new wallpapers and as you can see the black theme which is all new to Ubuntu 10.4. A lot like the Windows Zoom theme. So they have got very similar to Windows new desktop wallpapers. As you can see pebbles, which is like the windows, the jetty, flowers, light, reflections. So let's have a look at the theme. Ambience, which is an all new theme. And as you can see, the menu to exit, minimize and maximize is now on the left. Clear looks is from Ubuntu 9, which was the default theme. Dust, dust sand, high contrast, high contrast large. New Wave and Radiance, which them two are new also. Just Sand isn't, and neither of them two, but there's a lot of new nice themes. Fonts, you can select what font you like, application fonts, sans. Visual effects, you still get the choice between the three steps of virtual graphics um, obviously it's a virtual machine so I've got sets and on but there is some really nice graphics features in extra so if we go to open up the web browser which is default Firefox open it up it's just loading again I apologize for the speed because it's a virtual machine So here we go, Mozilla Firefox is opened up. It's all roughly the same. So if we maximize it in the new menu on the left, a lot like Mac OS X operating system. The loading bars to the right, and it's a nice orange waiting for startubuntu.com. So it's Ubuntu Google, it has changed. It's now gray and the Ubuntu logo has changed. Down here we now have options for the Ubuntu community and the Ubuntu shop. So that's about it. So there's Mozilla Firefox.